Nash, welcome to my channel and thanks for being here. So I am back on Ghost Dogs Moon Lake and in the last episode, um, some interesting things happened. We got locked in a burning shed that was set on fire. Pretty crazy stuff. And we found our way into a cellar. Let the mystery continue. Okay, so I feel like I haven't called Sally in a little while. I mean, I know we talked to her after the burning shed incident, but I kind of want to see... Oh, I think I might have been calling Bess. I don't remember. <laughs> I got distracted. Oops. Um, oh my gosh. I cannot stop calling Bess. You just, you know, one, five, two, three, boom. Alright, so I hit one, two, one, five, 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 three, eight, nine. Um... I feel like I haven't told her about the cellar, so... Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Really? Nancy, hi! How's it going? We can't tell her that she has a Talk cellar? Talk to you later! Keep me posted! Well, I was trying to. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, I guess we'll call Bess since I was trying to anyway. I've had that number, number, phone number memorized, like, most of my life. Hello? <laughs> Bess, it's Nancy. I know that. What's going on? Get this. It turns out that Jeff Akers will be one happy park ranger if Sally sells her Moon Lake property back to the bank, and they wind up selling it to the parks department. You think he might be responsible for all this ghost dog stuff? He has a motive and he has a dog, although it doesn't look at all like the dogs that have Sounds been scaring Sally. To me. But it shows he knows <laughs> something about dogs. Better pull out your suspect list and pencil him in, Nan. I still say you guys should lighten up on him. I found the coolest old newspaper. It's from 1927, and on the front page is an article about Mickey Malone and a man named William Akers. Akers? Any relation to park ranger Jeff Akers? When I asked, Jeff Akers said that it was just a huge unfortunate coincidence. According to the paper, William Akers was Mickey Malone's most trusted employee, his number one go-to guy. Where'd you find it? You know how I always seem to wind up in houses <laughs> with secret passageways? Uh, wish I had Sometimes that kind of I look. think they follow you around. Well, I found Can these hidden stairs <laughs> leading from the living room into the cellar. What's down there? That's what's weird. Sure. The stairs led down Sally. into this empty space. There's some kind of safe in the wall and a set of stairs leading to a door that goes outside, but that was it. Hmm. Why would Malone bother hiding a staircase if it didn't go somewhere important? So he didn't have to go outside to go to the cellar? I don't know. It's a shortcut, right? I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Did you notice the teeny tiny little hole next to the lock on that wall safe? It's probably a locking mechanism for the tumbler. So if Nancy stuck something in there, she'd be able to turn the lock? Yes, but it could be pretty hard to pin down something that small. A pin, huh? Maybe the back of what Ranger g gave us? I could sure use a nice big ah! hint right about now. Did you notice the teeny tiny little that. hole next to the uh, lock on that wall safe? It's probably yeah, a locking the mechanism again. for the tumbler. Sorry. So if Nancy <laughs> stuck something in there, she'd be able to turn the lock? Yes, but it could be pretty hard to pin down something that small. Bye, you guys. Then I get it. Ta -ta. I get it. Ciao I get it for now. Time. Thanks. Thanks. Nope. Nope. I'm trying to call the Hardy Boys. Why do I keep dialing 1523? 1280. Oh, there we go. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Frank. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Joe. Pick up the phone. Joe's in the kitchen. Worked up a real appetite watching me vacuum out the car. Ooh, what's Hello? he making? Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. What are you eating? Ooh. Sandwich. Either roast beef or really old turkey. Oh, Can't tell. Ew. Don't care. Oh, so how's life as a dog Joe, catcher? Why? I seem to be Let's getting nowhere say. fast. Anybody have any suggestions? If you look real close at that lock on the wall safe in the cellar, you'll notice a very small locking mechanism for the tumblers. Once you get that pinned down, you won't be stuck anymore. That's right. You're not really in a hole, Nancy. Get my point? All you need is a push in the right direction. Later, guys. See ya. Thank you. 
I said almost the exact same thing that uh, Bess and George did. Okay. Alright. Let's go take a look at this safe then. Wait. It looks like a tiny hole. What's hey. the combination? I do not know. Maybe we can... What's this? Uncle Clayton died? Is that what that says? Maybe it's that, uh... Right, any clues in here? Well, there was that, uh... What's it called? Tombstone. There we go. Alright. It's nighttime. We're going to the cemetery. Ah! I hear the dogs howling. Oh, so spooky. The music's not in sync with the dogs howling, though. <laughs> oh, there we go, owl. Yeah. That sounds more spooky. <laughs> Perfect! Thank you. Alright. Ah, I keep going the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm just a socially awkward penguin. Forgive me. Uh... Ah! Oh my gosh. You know, I should really just pull out the map, but I really want to memorize this again. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. Alright, starting over. Way? No. What the heck was that? <laughs> Awkward. Okay. Should be almost there, right? Oh, thank you, God. Okay. Um. Maybe the uh, combination is like a date or something? Because the paper kept showing like the day that people died or something. So, I don't know. 5, 10, 25? 19, 20? That is a 9, right? Looks like it. to navigate back to the house, if I can. <laughs> Good! We got more spooky music. It's perfect for getting lost in the woods. At least it has the right ambiance. <laughs> what is that sound? Some bird, maybe? I, I honestly don't know. Uh, spooky. Alright. No? How 
What were the other combinations, I guess? One, two, three, four, five, six. So five, one, zero, two, five. Maybe zero, five? Yeah, let's try that. So. Zero. and then we're gonna go to the ranger station then. Maybe I can snoop through the, uh... Whoa! Flashlight! <laughs> Maybe I can snoop through the, uh... What do you call it? Computer and records that I organized last time. Okay, so, ranger station... like a beautiful day for a boat ride. Alright, here we are. Hey, Yogi's back. Hey, pup. What's up? <laughs> Rhyme not intended. Good news. I have information on your mystery woman. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thank you so much. Is she still alive? Her name these days is Vivian Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas, and her number is 702-555-9137. Well, hopefully Nancy remembers that for me. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? Well, there's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Initial tests found high levels oh of arsenic. Oh my gosh, arsenic. not only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. Unsafe for any purpose. Well, I used it to put out a fire. I mean, that's okay, right? Wow. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. Melodramatic? Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Alright, well we will give that lady a call, but... Time to look through this again. Oh, here we go. Um, Waldo Mathias, the agent spearheading. Malone's been making us look like fools for a long time, declared Bureau of Investigation Agent Waldo Mathias. But today, the good guys finally got the last laugh. Oh, he was the FBI agent. Okay. Well, that takes my theory out the window. <laughs> figured out who Waldo Mathias is. Alright, well, I think we're gonna go back to the cabin and we'll give that lady a call. It'd be 
cool if she knew the combination to the safe. Alright. Oh good, it remembered her number. Woo! If you're selling something, hang up right now. I got an air horn in oh, my geez. hand that could deafen a dinosaur, and I'm not <laughs> afraid to use it. Oh, no, no, please. I'm not selling anything. Believe me. Is this Vivian Whitmore? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. You got exactly five seconds to state your business. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to ask you some questions. All right. The Moon Lake Park Ranger said you might call, but you have to talk fast. An old friend of mine is flying in today from Florida. And when I say old, I mean old, as in five years older than I am. <laughs> Don't bother trying to do the math, sweet stuff. You'll hurt yourself. Oh, jeez. So, that ranger fella said you found an old picture of me. That's right. I found it in the cellar of Mickey Malone's old house on Moon Lake. Moon Lake. Talk about your fond memories. I had a lot of fun there. Although I wasn't anywhere near as wild as most young people were back then. But I think Mickey kind of respected me for that. I was his gal for five years. He always kept birch beer on tap at that speakeasy of his just for me. A speakeasy? He had a speakeasy? Where? It was in the basement, right there at Moon Lake. Feds never knew about it, but everybody who was anybody on the East Coast back then, actors, musicians, bankers, politicians, huh. they knew. You weren't big time unless you'd made at least one trip to Moon Lake Mickey's. Did this speakeasy have a secret entrance? Obviously, Nancy. There was a lock hidden in one of the tombstones in that little cemetery behind the house. You needed a key to unlock it, and when you did, Stairs would appear that led to the speakeasy. Yeah, let's ask her about the safe. Do you know anything about the safe that's in the cellar of his house at Moon Lake? You must be talking about the wall safe. That was Willie's. By Willie, I mean William Akers, one of the guys who worked for Mickey. Huh. I don't suppose you happen to know the combination. No one knew the combination, not even Mickey. Mostly because Willie was constantly changing it. He was a little paranoid and superstitious. Well, as I recall, he picked the most unlucky number he could think of and used that for the combination. He called it a reverse jinx. <laughs> unlucky number? Like what? Oh, like the date that something bad happened. Like when the stock market crashed or when somebody died or the address of a house that caught fire or the phone number of the police, that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, interesting. Do you have any idea how to get into Malone's speakeasy from the house? I sure don't. That saloon was built using two main ingredients, concrete and secrecy. Mickey always bragged that nobody could get in unless he wanted them in, and I do believe he was right. But I'll tell you what, if you sent me that picture of me and Mickey, I'll send you my key. <gasps> Sounds like a fair trade to me. How will I know which tombstone to use it in? As a joke, Mickey had a tombstone made with the name of this federal agent who had it out for him inscribed on it. That's the one the key unlocks. It's been fun talking to you. 23 skidoo, kiddo! Alright. Let's go get that picture mailed. That's fair. I'll get away into the speakeasy and she'll get a picture of herself and the man she once loved. Hello again, Miss Drew. Hello. Am I in for another interrogation? <laughs> I'm getting predictable. <laughs> I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me and I'll take care of Thanks. it. Thanks. 
I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Alright, let's go uh, chat with Emily. See what she's up to. Nice Junior Park Ranger pin. You must really be on <laughs> Acre's good side. Oh, that was so worth it just to hear her sarcasm. Guess I'll see you later. I guess you will. Bye now. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going back to the house. Alright, so the safe well, the combination of the safe is the day something bad happened. Maybe it's the day that he got arrested? But would that guy have really had time to change the combination? Back to the cemetery I go. I'm making a little more headway with the navigation. So they all died the day he was arrested, so... What? 0-1-29-32? Maybe? Let's try that. sounds, though. I still want to know where Nancy's car is if we're blocked in by a big tree. Those were deer mice. Okay, looks like it's just this uh, book. I better be careful. I better be careful. Do I not have gloves or anything? No. shed anymore since it was lit on fire it's probably not safe to go in there okay uh, under the tarp nope uh, those look too rotten oh, call and ask for a hint. We'll see what Bess and George have to say. 
Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. I know that. What's going on? I think somebody may have deliberately put poison down Sally's well. Yikes! What makes you think that? The Department of Health found unusually high levels of arsenic in the water sample I sent them. Somebody's trying to poison you with arsenic? They said that? They weren't sure. They were going to run some more tests. So somebody could be trying to poison you, but you don't know for sure. Right. And they may not be trying to poison anybody. They may want to contaminate the well just enough to force Sally to either go to the expense of digging a new one or forget the whole thing and leave. And because arsenic is found naturally in well water anyway, you may never know for sure. Bummer. So true. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Why don't you check out the contents of that safe? But be sure to put on gloves and a mask first. That's right. Ranger Acres said some mice carry germs that can cause diseases. Bye, you guys. Don't be a stranger. Take care. Okay. Well, where am I going to get the gloves then? Maybe Ranger Acres has some? Package oh, just arrived for you from Las Vegas. Oh, that was quick! Holy smokes! Great, Vivian sent me the key. I'll dispose of the oh, package. Thanks. Wouldn't want to break any littering laws, would nope. we? Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Hey, dude, you got any gloves here? Maybe we can trade with Emily. If we can't get any from her, then maybe Red Knot will have some. I'm not sure. How you holding up? Guess I'll see you later. Yo la hee hoo. Supposed to get rubber gloves. <laughs> okay, well, time to go. All right, let's double check the cabin. We'll try Red Nut. Not up here. They're not in the kitchen. Yeah, I am not 
sure. Okay, well. I guess let's go check out the uh, cemetery again. Alright, I navigated there during the day. Let's try to get there during the night. Why? Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh. I don't know what the password is. Those look too rotten. Is this Vivian? No, this is Eustacia Andropov. Vivian's fixing snacks in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, Eustacia Andropov? Harry Houdini's cousin? Use the air horn like I showed you! No, Eustacia, wait! It's Nancy Drew. I talked to you on the phone a couple of months ago, just after a friend of mine was kidnapped in St. Louis. I asked you questions about the theater where the kidnapping took place, the Royal Palladium, remember? Nancy Drew. The Snoopy one. You're not dead what? yet? Uh, I was no. A drink of my, uh, Most <laughs> people, I talk oh, to them goodness. one day, next day they're dead. It is an old age thing. Oh, stop being so morbid here. Have some clam dip. Hello? Nancy? So you know Eustacia, huh? Small world. Well, what's up? So true. I got the key you sent me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There's just one thing. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, where is my brain? The key unlocks the letters of the inscription. Just dial in the password and you'll be set. There's just one more thing. Oh, uh, you don't know the password. I'm sorry. You, Stacia, and I've been playing Canasta <laughs> all day, and I guess beating her all those times took more out of my brain than I thought. Next game, I win. Next game, loser pays for pizza. Well, get out your wallet, sister, because you're going down. So, where were we? Oh, yeah, the password, the password. Let's see. It was the name of that federal agent, his first name. Waldo? No, 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 not his real first name. Oh, what? Mickey was always calling him Baldo. Baldo. <laughs> that was it, Baldo. I always thought it was mean to call him that, especially since Mickey was starting to get a little sparse on top himself. So I just turn the letters until they spell Baldo? Yes, dear, but like almost everything else in life, it's trickier than it sounds. Are there any other tricks to getting into the speakeasy that I should know about? <sighs> I suppose it's only fair to warn you about the tunnels, and the doors, and the <laughs> dead like, ends. Yeah, oh, jeez. Tunnels? You mean there's more than one way to get to the speakeasy from the cemetery? 
Smokey had his men dig a bunch of tunnels between the speakeasy and the cemetery with hidden doors that opened when other doors closed and lots of dead ends so that if the speakeasy was ever raided, his guests could hide from the police. I was always terrified of getting lost, but you're a plucky girl. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's been fun talking to you. 23 skidoo, kiddo! All right. So, Baldo. Alright. Let's go. Goodness. So many sounds. Okay, so Baldo. <laughs> Too dark. I need a flashlight. Oh, know. the batteries are going dead. Oh, no. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. It's silly to try to explore this in the dark. Oh, ah! Ah! oh no. Oh, the batteries are going dead. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. Why isn't it letting? Alright guys, I'm going to be leaving off here for now. Um, I'm super excited to explore the tunnels and find the speakeasy, but it looks like we're going to have to get some more batteries from somebody, so we'll get to that in the next episode. I had so much fun playing this. Thank you for watching. If you guys like my video, leave a comment, give a thumbs up, and subscribe. Chill like a penguin and God bless.